Uh, do we have a name for this show, or is this just the art show? Is that uh, what the name of this show come is? Come up with a name. Art, art House Hits. Art House Hits. Okay. This isn't our, we're not reviewing an art house hit today, but. Hi there, and welcome to the show, Art House Hits. I'm Nick. I'm Abby. And today we're reviewing Jean-Luc Godard's latest film, The Image Book. Um, so Abby, what did you think of The Image Book? Um, well I had a rather strange reaction to it. Like, I know some people who love it, I know some people who hate it. I was more in the middle. For me, the first 50 minutes or so was not really connected to the rest of the film. I found it interesting though, seeing what, like, it was fun trying to recognize the clips from the movies he used, and I could recognize a few of them. But um, I found the last 35 minutes or so interesting. He tries to make a statement on uh, Western media representation of the Arab world, and kind of like how he's complicit in it as well. And I found it interesting the way he utilizes older film clips and then also clips from like older Egyptian films to compare and contrast them. But I feel like his narration and the visual style he chooses to use, it's a very grotesque visual style. I feel like he could have maybe made his point in a more coherent and straightforward way and it would have connected better with people who aren't very hardcore cinephiles. Yeah, this is a very uh, difficult film to watch, I'd say, especially because the entire thing is just a montage of edited together clips from both movies, but there are also clips from, uh, there are some images of uh, ISIS, uh, um, you know, propaganda. Um, so it's, it's a very uh, wide range that he's drawing from. And also so many of these images have been distorted and played with, some are blown out, some of the colors have been manipulated, some of them are, uh, you know, uh, stretched across the screen. It's really disturbing and um, it makes it difficult to watch because I think for me, there's no real point of identification. I think um, something that Jean-Luc Godard is, is interested in is challenging the, uh, the hegemony of what language is. I actually watched his film, Goodbye to Language, just before this um, and to try to prepare myself. I uh, didn't really prepare myself at all, <laughs> but I think I like that film a little bit better because it's all framed around uh, two characters who are actually actors and um, they're kind of like what grounds the film. I can look at people who I know are gonna have some kind of, you know, relationship together. It's not just random clips, uh, you know, mashed back to back to back. Petite fille, je voyais partout des chiens. Cette matinée est un rêve. Chacun doit penser que le rêveur, c'est l'autre. I feel like he tries to do that in a different way in the image book. Like, I haven't seen Goodbye Language, but just from watching the image book. In the last 30 or minutes or so, he does narrate the story of a prince, Ben Kassem, I think mm -hmm. his name is, yeah. and his brother, Samantha. Yeah. It's like, in, um, they're emissaries of Dofa, which emissaries is uh, of Dofa, which made up. Yeah. So it's, it's like, he has this kind of point of identification, but it's only in the narration. He continues for the visual element just to use archival clips of like Al Jazeera news reports, mm. old Hollywood films, old Arabic films. So it's, yeah. there's a sort of a disconnect between what's on the screen and what the audience is hearing. Yeah, I think that section might have been one of my favorites too because that one has, a, I think, a coherent thesis to it, which is at one point he says, any act of representation is violence itself, um, which I think it, it's not, it's actually not that radical of a point. Um, if, if, if you know about the book um, Orientalism, have you heard of Orientalism? I know what the concept is, but I've not heard of the book. It's by this um, historian Edward Said, and it's all about um, kind of the West's construction of uh, the Middle East, but also East Asia, and kind of how their representations of them, both um, in media, but also just, um, you know, in descriptions of these far off places, um, kind of creates a, a sense of other. They are kind of other, they're separate from us. There's, there's a whole word to describe it, Orientalism. And I think that uh, Jean-Luc Godard does a, a decent job of kind of exploring that in his own kind of roundabout way, I yes. think. 
One other line I also found interesting in his narration, I think it's like in the first 20 minutes or so of the film, he has this moment where he's like showing old newsreel footage from uh, wars and he's like, I think the line is, war is divine, otherwise why would there be all this bloodshed for mm. no reason? It has to be divine for this reason because innocents are suffering. Mm. Which I found an interesting thesis, I'm not entirely sure I agree with it, but Godard has some strange ideas about a lot of subjects. Right. It's so hard, too, to tell if he's being facetious or trying to be, you know, sarcastic. Or when provocative. He's... Right. Because... It's, it's The line is so thin and, you know, there's, there's nothing to ground us besides the images that he's throwing together on the screen. Mm -hmm. uh, we never see Godard. I mean, the man is 88 years old now, so... Um, totally understandable why he's not, you know, in front of the camera, but... Um... I mean, even when the film premiered at Cannes, he didn't go where it's oh, like, really? usually the director has to be there, but it's like he just sent the producer and cinematographer to represent him. <laughs> he refuses, like, he refuses to go to film festivals and stuff mm. now. But this did win a special Palme d'Or at the Cannes Film Festival, mm. because apparently the jury president wanted to give it the Palme d'Or, but the rest of the jury was like, no, we're not giving it to this. <laughs> she, she was like, we'll just give it a special one. Oh, oh, I, I think I did read about that. It's like an entirely new thing that hadn't been done before, is yeah, that right? Yeah, and it probably won't be done again. Mm, just for Godard. Oh, you special snowflake, <laughs> you. <laughs> mm. One other thing I really did like about this movie was he has this entire section that's dedicated to trains. What's coming? A train! Are we gonna ride the train? Look like a and how trains have been used both in movies um, but also uh, historically what they kind of symbolize and represent in terms of um, you know, transporting Jews during the Holocaust. Um, that was one moment in the film that I thought was especially pertinent in, in the way that he talks about images as, as a way of uh, you know, being vehicles for something kind of larger than themselves. Yeah, I found that interesting as well. And uh, one, thing, one thing I noticed was uh, the very last uh, use of archival footage in the film is of a, I think it's from a 1920s film, it's like a couple dancing together. It's like pretty much the same. It's yeah, it's from Les Placier. Les yeah. Placier? Yes. Or Les Placier? I can't but, uh, think it's French. <laughs> <laughs> but, and it's funny, there's a short film Godard made in 2000 called On the Origins of the 21st Century. Hmm. It's like a 15 minute short film, mostly comprised of uh, images from atrocities throughout the 20th century, but it ends in the exact same way with that footage from Les Placier. So hmm. I thought that was an interesting little callback moment, which I'm sure was not accidental on his part. Yeah, I think as well that this is a film that I'm not sure I can highly recommend to everyone. Um, I don't think I ever want to watch it again in my entire life. I think once is enough. I don't know, what do you think? Um, I think I'd be open to watching it, watching it again with a bit of distance away from it and maybe having watched Goodbye to Language to get mm -hmm. more of a grip on like this very late period Godard. But, uh, I definitely want to watch it again after some distance and having read some good critical articles on it because I know there are like mm. film critics who specialize pretty much entirely in Godard, so mm -hmm. I would be interested to read their thoughts. I also wouldn't like casually recommend it to people, but if I know someone who's like more of a hardcore cinephile mm -hmm. or likes Godard, I would definitely implore them to at least check this out and see what they think mm -hmm. of it. This isn't a date night movie, is what we're trying to say. Yeah, 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 this would be like one of the worst date night movies ever. Right, you'd want to kill your partner by the end yes. of it, I think. Yes, you would. Well, I think that's all we have to say on this movie. Uh, if you are, are a huge fan of Godard, check out the image book. Uh, but with that, thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks. En réalité, il est bref. Seul fragment. Pour la marque de l'authenticité.